Pointe Pelee National Park, French, Parc National de la Pointe Pelee, is a national park in Essex County in southwestern Ontario, Canada, where it extends into Lake Erie. The word Pelee is French for bald. Pointe Pelee consists of a peninsula of land, mainly of marsh and woodland habitats, that tapers to a sharp point as it extends into Lake Erie. Middle Island, also part of Point Pelee National Park, was acquired in 2000 and is just north of the Canada-United States border in Lake Erie. Point Pelee is the southernmost point of mainland Canada, and is located on a foundation of glacial sand, silt and gravel that bites into Lake Erie. This spit of land is slightly more than 7 km long by 4.5 km miles wide at its northern base. Established in 1918, Point Pelee was the first national park in Canada to be established for conservation. It was designated as a Ramsar site on 27 May 1987. History Aboriginal people lived on Point Pelee for many years before European colonization, dating back to at least 6,000 years. The largest archaeological site found at Point Pelee is thought to have been occupied between AD 700 and 900. The name was given to the area by Fathers Dahlier and Galeny when they passed through the area in 1670. In the late 1700s, British naval reserves logged the area's white pine for shipbuilding. In 1790, Deputy Indian Agent Alexander McKean negotiated a treaty with Aboriginal communities that ceded a large tract of land, which included Point Pelee, to the Crown. The Caldwell First Nation Chippewa people, who inhabited Point Pelee, were not signatories of that treaty. However, the Crown did not realize this, and their land was ceded nonetheless. Subsequently, they were forced off their land, and Point Pelee remains unceded Aboriginal land. This has been publicly acknowledged by the Department of Indian and Northern Affairs Canada. Point Pelee was made a national park in 1918 at the urging of birdwatchers and hunters. Commercial fishing continued in the park until 1969. Point Pelee was the only Canadian national park to allow hunting until duck hunting was ended in 1989. This site was named Point Pelee, meaning Bald Point by French explorers because the eastern side was rocky and had no trees. In March 2006, high winds caused waves that washed away the sand point and all that remained was a platform. In October 2007 the level of Lake Erie dropped enough to reveal the point again extending at least a kilometer out into the water and at least 7 meters 23 feet wide with a winding curve shape to it. Since that time the sandy tip continues to shift, grow longer or shorter, or even detach temporarily, from year to year. Geography Located in the western parts of the St. Lawrence Lowlands, the park is a sandspit formation that extends 15 kilometres into Lake Erie and is up to 70 metres thick. With an area of only 1,564 hectares 3 acres, it is Canada's smallest national park. Most of the park about 1113 hectares 2750 acres or 70% of the park consists of marsh dominated by cattails and ponds although forested areas make up a significant portion of the park covering about 21% of the park This sandspit is dominated by till plains which was formed during the last ice age during the advance and retreat of the Wisconsinian ice on a submerged limestone ridge as the glacier melted and retreated northward, the Lake Erie Basin began to fill with water. The movement of sediments altered the coastline, resulting in the present-day shape of Point Pelee. Subsequently, over the centuries, a thin but rich soil has formed. Mineral soils in the park were mapped as well to rapidly drained East Port Sand, which has insignificant profile development. The marshes began to form about 3,200 years ago, based on carbon dating. This was also the same time when the sands began to deposit, forming the present-day barriers. The marsh has a closed drainage system owing to the separation of it by two barriers along the east and west side, which usually prevents the free exchange of water. However, when lake levels are higher, the marsh water levels fluctuate with the lake's water levels. The distinctive triangular shape at the southern tip of Point Pelee is caused by the convergence of these two barriers. 
Middle Island, which is located south of the Point Pelee Peninsula has an area of approximately 18.5 hectares 46 acres and is the southernmost point in Canada. Virtually all of Middle Island is forested. <laughs> Flora and fauna Owing to its southerly location and the moderating effects of Lake Erie, the climate in the park is slightly warmer than the rest of Canada and many Carolinian faunal species, which are rare in Canada are located here. Examples include the fox snake and the five-lined skink. Because of its location at the crossroads of two major migration flyways, about 347 to 360 different species of migratory birds have been recorded in the park and more than 100 species stay there for breeding. This total includes 102 waterfowl and shorebird species. Dominic Cousins' Top 100 Birding Sites of the World lists Point Pelee as number 66. Coyotes and martens are also present within this park. Many Carolinian floral species that are rare in Canada occur within the park boundaries. The park contains more than 750 native plant species, of these eight species are considered to be rare, endangered or threatened in Canada. Nearby Middle Island is designated provincially as an area of natural and scientific interest due to its unique and rare assemblages of plants and animals. Middle Island is home to plants and animals that are characteristic of the Carolinian ecozone of which nine species are at risk. The diversity of vegetation in the marsh is the highest along the edge of the marsh ponds and in the transitional zones between the terrestrial environments and the marsh. Four different vegetation communities dominate in the marsh. Topic. Climate Point Pelee has a humid continental climate DFA under the Köppen climate classification with warm, humid summers, and cold winters that is modified by the surrounding waters of Lake Erie. It lies in a zone that is characterized by variable weather due to conflict between polar and tropical air masses. Its position in Lake Erie modifies its climate, resulting in warmer winter and fall temperatures compared to inland regions, as the lake cools more slowly than the surrounding land though during the spring, temperatures remain cooler than inland areas due to the land warming faster than the lake. Winters are cold with a January average temperature of minus 3.9 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Owing to its position in Lake Erie, winter temperatures are warmer than inland locations at a similar latitude due to the release of the heat stored by the lake. As a result, temperatures below minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4.0 degrees Fahrenheit are rare, with only 1.9 days where the temperature reaches or falls below minus 20 degrees Celsius minus 4.0 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum temperature usually stays below freezing on most days although mild spells of weather can occur time to time. The park receives 98.9 cm of snowfall per year and there are 30.6 days with measurable snow. The park is not located in the snowbelt region, and snow cover is intermittent through the winter. Summers are warm and humid with the warmest month, July, averaging 22.4 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit, which is among the highest in Ontario. The surrounding lake moderates summertime temperatures, cooling the flow of warm air masses originating from the Gulf of Mexico and as a result, temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius .0 degrees Fahrenheit are rare, with only 4 to 8 days per year in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Human impact Topic. Development From a regional perspective, the park is isolated from other natural areas because in Essex County, less than 6% of the native forest cover and 3% of the wetlands remain intact. Much of the area of it has been altered and mostly converted for agriculture, industry or urban development. It is also located close to major urban areas. Topic. Bird watching It forms the southernmost point in mainland Canada its latitude is the same as that of the northernmost counties of California and is part of a bird and butterfly migration corridor over Lake Erie via Point Pelee and the Lake Erie Islands. Over 360 bird species have been recorded in the park. 
The peak time for bird migration is spring, especially May, when tired migrants make first landfall after their journey north across the lake. Many birdwatchers from North America and abroad visit the park in May, often staying in the nearby town of Lemington. One attraction, apart from the sheer numbers and variety of bird passing through on migration, is the opportunity to see more northerly breeding species such as blackpoll warbler before they move on. Occurrences March 2017 Marsh Fire On 29 March 2017, Point Pelee's marshland was involved in a fire causing over 125 hectares of marsh habitat to be destroyed. The fire lasted 15 hours and was naturally extinguished due to rainfall the following day. Commemoration <inaudible> 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 Point Pelee National Park was featured on a high-value postage stamp, issued in 1983, as part of a series honoring national parks. The park appeared on a stamp that was issued on January 15, 2018, with a $1.20 face value. The issue coincides with the park's centennial year, and is part of a nine-stamp set featuring scenic views across the country. Images See also National Parks of Canada List of National Parks of Canada Long Point, Ontario